The CAC worked really, really hard to come together and uh, create an action agenda, and we've been very proud to roll it out this summer. Well, Long Island Sound, like most of our estuaries in southeastern New England, is suffering from too much nitrogen. Probably the biggest remaining challenge is how we deal with uh, runoff mm -hmm. into the sound. Uh, that can range from everything from um, fertilizer that runs off and promotes algae blooms, which then, of course, uh, uh, deprives the sound of oxygen and and, uh, and uh, makes it harder for for the ecosystem to work appropriately, or it could be in the form of, of um, stormwater runoff. One of the pressing issues for Long Island Sound is, as Jim just mentioned, the issue of invasive species, the arrival of non-native species from around the world. Another area that needs considerable help is improvement to the um, sewer systems in large cities. Clearly, uh, that is a contributing source. We've seen that through programs run by Connecticut Fund for the Environment, that there needs to be a tremendous investment in large urban areas uh, to improve those wastewater treatment facilities to help improve the overall health of Long Island Sound. I am old enough, and I know I don't look it, to remember when Long Island Sound was clear. You could walk out to your neck and look down and see your feet at the bottom of, of, the, of the sound. Uh, that died. That died, unfortunately. But it has been coming back. It has been coming back gradually. It's going to come back much more quickly now with the forces that are being brought together. place for boating, it's for recreation, it is also uh, really is the livelihood of so many people uh, who depend on the sound uh, to make their living and to understand all of that is what all of these efforts are all about. One of the things that's really critical for us is that we have good water quality because all, when we sell our oysters we have to have a certified area to sell out of and our water quality has been very good but if you have people where they're uh, uh, throwing things in the water or you have uh, sewage problems or people in their boats or aren't pumping out, things like that are, are a critical problem. For us. This is about our quality of life here in Connecticut. That water, which brings so much recreation and commerce, is indispensable to our quality of life here. We need to fight for it, and the action plan will do that. Now we're obviously uh, realizing that our impacts and impacts on the sound are profound, and we've seen profound impacts uh, to uh, shell fishing and to uh, particularly lobstering lately, which has been very challenging. The environment is the economy, and the economy is the environment. And that the interconnection between those two, at least when you stand anywhere on eastern Long Island, and I suspect anywhere on the Connecticut shoreline or deeper into Connecticut, uh, cannot be denied. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to come together, work together, and, and move government and the private sector in the direction in which we need to move them, which is to take a jewel and see to it that we continue to maintain its luster. One thing we're doing is we're investing hundreds of millions of dollars to rebuild one of the 44 main sewer plants that put effluent into Long Island Sound, the large one up in Middletown, which will now handle the needs of a large part of central Connecticut. The citizens really need the federal and state agencies to push this agenda forward. We've got to look at low cost, no cost, and, and carbon positive alternatives than just boiling rainwater off at the power plant, which isn't going to work. 
Chief Ford, six to seven thousand jobs could be created if we invest in infrastructure around clean water. So this is a jobs program. Investing in Long Island Sound is a jobs program. We have studies and uh, organizations that have done work on both sides of this body of water and to be able to leverage those resources and bring them together and work collaboratively towards our goal um, is going to get us to where we need to go. We are going back to our respective states. We are organizing shoreline caucuses, Long Island Sound caucuses, and we are going to be a force for change and protection in the future, and you just watch us go.